in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a turntable using Unreal 4. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a camera um, in, the, in the center of your object and then we're going to I'm going to show you how to uh, animate that so you can get a perfect turntable. So let's get started. So I've got an empty scene um, other than the sky in here uh, and I'm going to just delete this floor. So all I did was I went file new level and then just created a new level so you can do that in your projects. Um, I'm just going to move the player start over here because I don't need it there and I'm just going to put the platform for as an example object to spin around. Then I'm going to make sure my materials are assigned to this. I'm just going to change my lighting to 256. Now I, when I built this a minute ago I realized that it's got some lighting errors because it is quite an old asset so I would need to fix that before I lit it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some ambient lights here. So I'm just going to grab a point light, so I just pressed L and left click. I'm going to change the colour of this to purple pink, whatever this one is. Bring this down to 500. Oh no. Um, probably about 80. And I'm going to turn cast shadows off. And then I'm just going to grab this one, move this along, and I'm just going to turn off this light source. Now you could keep this on if you wanted to. Then with this one, I'm going to duplicate this and Sorry about that, my phone just went off. Um, okay. I'm also going to put a reflection, uh, if I could spell reflection right, in here just to make sure it's piping in. And I mean, you can have this light source on actually. Where are my editors? Here we go. So, okay, so I've got my lighting set up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a sphere. Now, don't worry, we can keep this on at the moment, but what I'm going to do is we're going to actually um, get rid of this in a min, uh, hide it on render. So, don't worry about that. I'm also going to get a camera. Which did not place in the best position there. So looking at it, I'm going to try and place this in the center. I'm going to add a bit. Because obviously I want to capture the whole. Okay, so I've got my camera angle set up how I want it, uh, and I've got my uh, thing. So I'm going to go into my cinematics, I'm just going to create a new matinee. Okay, and that's on the wrong screen, so here we go. So with the camera selected, I'm going to go create, create new camera group. Call this turn table. And then I'm just going to stretch this out to four seconds. Now I also enabled snap, generally because it just helps you snap to the points. And I've got my first um, keyed movement. Now before I go anywhere, I need to attach this camera to this sphere. So when I move this sphere in a 360, it's going to move the camera, which is going to give us perfect opportunity to... So instead of trying to do it ourselves, we can use this sphere to actually help us with it. So if I grab the camera, move it down, and drag it, left click, drag it over sphere. I was going to attach it to the sphere. And then what we need to do is we need to make the sphere 
movable because this is the this is what we're going to animate in matinee. So if I go back to matinee, just move my taskbar. Um, we're going to need to create a movement track. So if we go right click anywhere here, just like we did with the turntable, and go um, new empty group. Turn, making sure you've got it selected, go right click on the turn, new movement track. Now, this means when I move this, it's now going I can actually animate it. So I'm going to drag the slider to there, press spacebar, then select the rotate. rotate it 90. Then I'm going to do it again in two seconds. Rotate. Rotate 90 degrees. And rotate. So now we've got a full 90. So if we play this, you see the camera now moves around the, uh, the object. Okay, so what I want to do is, now I just need to animate the camera, so I'm going to move it to one second, select the camera, so select the movement track here, hit enter, 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 and enter. Saves a lot more time, especially if you're trying to animate this at full 360. Now we're going to change the um, interpretation of these. So um, we need to turn it into linear. So what I need to do is I need to uh, I need to right uh, select all of these, pressing Control left click, and then right click on it, change the intern mode to linear. Now what that's going to do is it's going to give us a full 360 spin. So if I loop this now. Okay, now again, just like before, we need to put a director's group in. So, new director group and hit enter and select the turntable. Click OK. So, that means now we move this away. You can see that we've got this move now. And if we select these ones as well, we get a little bit of a flicker, but not as much as before. There you go. So we can hide this. So if we select the sphere and go down to render, turn that off. You can also turn game mode off, and there you can have it. So you have your um, rotating turntable. Now, just like before, we go into um, record, and that would allow us to um, sorry, render movie settings, render it out. So we render it out 1920 by 1080. Um, we can change the compression quality if we wanted to. Uh, I tend to render it out as an image sequence PNG and then put it back together in After Effects. Um, so I hope, hopefully this has uh, been quite useful. Um, oh yeah, sorry. And just as a reminder, because it won't work otherwise, is if we go to Blueprints, open up Level Blueprints, we'll have Event Begin Play. If you drag off it and say Set Cinematic, and then with your matinee, uh, wherever you are, where's matinee? There you go. Press G back on the keyboard to re-enable that. Uh, that toggles game mode on, on and off in editor. Right click and type in play mat. There we go. And then plug that in. We compile this and just make sure it sets a cinematic play. You'll notice 
when we play the level, it will rotate this. Now, there you go. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, hopefully this has been. Ah, where are you? If you ever get lost, just press F in the frame, just like Maya, and it'll uh, it'll frame it back in. Cool. So hopefully this has been useful, um, and um, I'll see you in the next video.